Uh, on average, for example, on LinkedIn, when we, where we use a classic text approach, uh, we have something like 36% response rate, which means that the candidate reply, uh, replies to us even, yes, uh, I would like to know more, or he will say, no, contact me in six months. That's response rate. But you saw the numbers. On average, you need to contact 48 people, or if you are in IT, usually something like 100 uh, 46 people, but I don't know, for example, in Brasov, but there are small, smaller regions where I'm looking, for example, for some specific IT role, and there are not so many people to, to approach. So I'm going against the odds to even fill the role. So what to do? You need to increase this number. How to do that? Uh, recently, I published an article on uh, RMedia Media about so-called video sourcing. Uh, I'm, I played with this maybe for that three years already. And what I call with video sourcing, it's, it's usage of videos, but not for employer brand and these like marketing things, but directly for, for that direct approach. Video job description, that's one of the elements. So this guy is a team manager at the company. He's not a recruiter, he's right at the company. Uh, in this case, I'm regional sales director for engineering company 2N. And we will take a mobile phone and we will do a two minute video with him where he will say something like, hey, uh, I'm uh, Martin, I work for this company, we do this, and I'm looking for a guy who should be responsible for this, he should know this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so in other words, he will informally say what is in the job description, but of course the job de description is usually kind of like a template where you will put there the responsibilities, you should know this, and so on, and it's not so attractive usually. So from his words, it's, it's definitely more natural. And uh, recruiters or sourcers will use this video instead of the classic text job advertisement. So they will contact people on LinkedIn and so on. Everything's the same, but instead of sending them a proposal, a text proposal, they will send this video. It has two effects. One effect is that you will disrupt and you, you will break the pattern with using the video. Everybody are used to receiving text and suddenly you put there a video. So it's like one, okay, there's something different. I will open it. And the second thing is that he can see his potential future boss. So in this case, for example, Martin, he spoke half of the video in French and half uh, in, uh, in English because he's looking for some account manager for Africa. Uh, so you can see your potential boss. So if you, if you see your job advertisement in text, you would say, okay, so any other account management uh, or account management job, okay, I will pass on that or maybe later. But here you will say maybe something like, okay, it looks like a solid guy. Yeah, why not? I will attend the interview. We will see. Maybe you will say, okay, he's, he's kind of like asshole maybe. Uh, but you, you, you would meet him anyway. So if, if, if you would read the, the text advertisement, you would uh, attend the interview and you see he's an asshole on the interview. This is at least saving times for both sides. So uh, this, is increasing, this is increasing the response rate, let's say, significantly. Uh, this is even more hardcore uh, approach. Uh, this is uh, Zuzka, and she was uh, looking for some ECM specialist for Tieto. Tieto is Finnish company, Finnish company and uh, there were only 20 qualified candidates in that region. It, it wasn't in the capital city, it was in a smaller region. So she really needed answer from all of them. So she created 20 videos, something like, uh, hello David, uh, I found your LinkedIn profile and it's very interesting, uh, I would like to speak with you about this, blah, 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 blah. Two minutes, something like video. So she, with, with uh, the complete personification, so at, at the beginning of each video there was, hello David, hello Martin, hello, blah, blah, blah. So kind of like, kind of like hard job to do, but you can see the response rate from the 36% skyrocketed to 100%. All of them replied. Yeah, of course, the factor uh, IT guy and lady recruiter maybe can be a factor as well. But yeah, so as I said, the variable is only your effort. So you could see her effort was she she done uh, 20 videos, but the output was that the response rate is 100%. You can do the same with virtual reality. Again, as, as you saw, the, the 3D printed pistol, 3D printing, it's, it's very cheap, you can have it, as well as you can have uh, 
as, as, as well as you can have virtual reality. Virtual reality cameras are now for something like $100 up. So th this was done with a camera for $300. And you can actually, I will show you here uh, how the headset for VR can look like. It can look like this. So what do you think is the, is the cost of this? You, you can take it. <laughs> so OK. You know. What do you think is the cost of this device? Hundreds of dollars. Any, any other guess? Actually, this one, it's like $4, including shipping from China. Yeah, yeah literally. Uh, Five minutes reminder, yep. Joseph, thank uh, you. There are also uh, paper ones, so this is something like for 50 cents. So y you can do a video. Uh, imagine doing a video where you will put the camera on the seat where the guy would be working. So he would actually appear at the company on the very seat where he would be working. He can see around. He can see his future colleagues. He can see his future boss coming to him and saying, OK, so this would be your seat. You can see around. We do here these things and so on. So this is now, uh, this is now uh, possible. So you can, you can choose, again, like here, 20 candidates, and send them do, those uh, VR, uh, VR headsets. So yeah. Uh, live videos, uh, I would say it's a very new thing we are testing right now. Um, this is a selfie stick we created at our company. I call it selfie stick Mr. Hollywood, uh, where you can put free mobile phones. It has its own lighting and audio input. And the thing is that there is now Facebook Live, Twitter Live, Instagram Live, YouTube Live, Periscope. And when you do some videos, you want to do it for all of them. You, you, you don't want to do just Facebook Live. If I do a video live, I want to cover all, uh, all channels. So uh, now our sourcers are encouraged to do some kind of videos, kind of like webinars for candidates to collect and increase the, the pool of, uh, increase the pool of uh, candidates.